It is the only competition of its kind in North America. And today in Littleton, more than 20 blind and visually impaired students went finger to hip to fingertip in the Braille Challenge. CBS 4's Kelly Worthman takes us to the Colorado Center for the Blind for that competition. We are doing the Braille Challenge, and we just finished like a spelling test. Not too often are kids this excited yeah. about a test. It's a lot of work, and I'm probably going to go home and sleep for the next 18 hours, but it is very fun. But the Braille Challenge isn't so much an exam. Well, here, find my hand. As it is a series of friendly competitions. They're designed for blind and visually impaired students to improve the accuracy of their Braille comprehension. I'm mostly good at writing. You will have 25 minutes to. Some of the challenges important. did prove tricky for a few students. I might have accidentally spelled some words wrong. But that's absolutely okay. Guess it's not the biggest deal ever. Because the Braille Challenge is all about learning and showing these kids are more than what the eye can see. We're kind of underestimated a lot, I feel like. And I feel like uh, putting this on the news is actually very good because it kind of raises awareness that we do things like the Braille Challenge. In Littleton, Kelly Worthman covering Colorado first. Okay, all of those kids are awesome. <laughs> Winners of today's competition have a chance to advance to the National Braille Challenge that'll be held in Los Angeles this summer. Oh man, they are so inspiring. Huh?